Welcome to Career Deep Training Solutions. This is session 6 video on simple and compound interest. You might get these type of questions in examination where I will show you how to find the principal amount when the difference between simple and compound interest for 2 years is given. So you have to keep one thing in your mind always is the principal is always 100%. Now listen to the question carefully. You are taking a loan of 100 rupees from a bank or some amount from the bank and the bank is asking you to pay 1 percentage every year as simple interest. In the previous videos we clearly discussed the simple interest calculation is very simple. right? So for 1 year if it is 1 percentage for 2 years 1 percentage into 2, 2 percentage. For one year, if the rate of interest is 2 percentage, for two years, 2 into 2, 4 percentage. For one year, if it is 3 percentage, for three years, 3 into 3, 9 percentage. But in compound interest, this process is not possible, where we have to use a formula that also we discussed in the previous video, a plus b plus ab by 100. So where a represents first year's interest, b represents second year interest and this AB represents interest for the first year's interest. So 1 into 2 by 100. So first year, second year, first year and second year. Now let me show you how this formula works with the compound interest. You are taking a loan from the bank and the bank is asking you to pay 1 percentage every year, every year for totally 2 years. So first year you have to pay 1 percentage if it is 2 year, you have to pay the first year's interest as well as the second year interest. So 1 plus 1 plus for the previous year 1 percentage interest, this year you have to pay an another 1 percentage interest. So 1 into 1 by 100. So 1 plus 1 gives you 2. So plus 1 into 1 by 100 gives you 0 0.01. So it is 2.01 percentage. If it is 2 percentage per annum, 2 plus 2 plus 2 into 2 by 100. So 2 plus 2 gives you 4 plus 2 into 2 by 100 gives you 0 0.04 percentage. If it is 3 percentage per annum, 3 plus 3 plus 3 into 3 by 100. So 3 plus 3 gives you 6 plus 3 into 3 by 100 gives you 0 0.09 percentage. I hope that how this compound interest works clearly, right? Now if you closely observe this number, if it is 1 percentage per annum, so however the principal is for 2 years, right? So 1 into 2 gives 2 and 1 square gives you 0 0.01. 2 into 2 gives you 4. 2 square gives you 0 0.04. 3 into 3 gives you 6. 3 squares gives you 0 0.09. So you are getting right. So if it is for 4 percentage, 4 into 2, 8. 4 square point 16 percentage but in simple interest 4 percentage into 2 so this gives you how much 8 percentage sorry mistakenly I have written it's 3 years so it is 2 years so 3 percentage into 2 6 percentage for 2 years right so 4 percentage into 2 8 percentage for 2 years so you can easily buy cut this table you no need to buy cut if you understand if you understood the concept properly. So in simple interest, if it is one percentage per annum for two years, you have to pay two percentage. In simple interest, if it is two percentage per annum for two years, you have to pay four percentage. Similarly, for three percentage, six percentage. For four, four percentage, four into two, eight percentage. For five percentage, five into two, ten percentage. For six percentage, six into two, twelve percentage. Now you know how to find the compound interest rate for 1 percentage 2.01 percentage see for 1 percentage for 2 years it is 2.01 percentage for 2 percentage for 2 years 4.04 percentage for 3 percentage for 2 years 6.09 percentage for 4 percentage for 2 years 8.0 16 percentage 5 percentage for 2 years 10.25 percentage 6 percentage for 2 years 
12.36 percentage so for 9 percentage for 2 years 9 2s are 18 9 square 81 so 18.81 percentage so you are getting right so if you understood this concept properly you can easily get the answer for the difference based problem in less than 20 seconds so the question is assume if the question goes like this the difference between the compound interest and the simple interest on a certain sum at 4 percentage for 2 years is rupees 100 what will be the amount invested see you are investing the same amount in two banks and the rate of interest is also same for the two banks 4 percentage simple interest in one bank and in another bank 4 percentage compound interest so first bank simple interest and second bank compound interest and the total time is 2 years right so if it is 4 percentage we know the trick right so in 4 percentage simple interest for 2 years gives you 8 percentage compound interest for 4 percentage for 2 years gives you 8.16 percentage so what is the difference 8.16 and 8 the difference is 0.16 percentage so in the question it is given the difference is 100 rupees so this 100 rupees is how many percentage 0.16 percentage so this 0.16 percentage is 100 rupees so what is 16 percentage so use unitary method so if 16 percentage is 100 16 percentage is if 0.16 percentage is 100 then 16 percentage is 10000 rupees then 100 percentage equal to x now use cross multiplication so x equal to 10000 by 16 into 100 if you solve this you will get 62500 so the answer is 62500 62500 so in each bank you invested 62500 for 4 percentage at 2 years so the difference is 100 rupees you are getting right now the second question the difference between simple and compound interest compounded annually on a certain sum of money for 2 years at 8 percentage per annum is rupees 128 find the sum so we know in simple interest 8 percentage for 2 years is 16 percentage in compound interest 8 percentage per annum for 2 years is 16.64 percentage so the difference is 0.64 percentage So 0.64 percentage is how much? 128. So if 0.64 percentage is 128, 64 percentage is how much? 12800 rupees. So you have to find the principal amount. Principal amount is 100 percentage. So 100 percentage equal to x. So cross multiply it, you will get the answer. X equal to 12800 by 64 into 100. So cancel it. 200 times so 200 into 100 gives you 20,000. So 20,000 is the principal invested. So the answer is twenty thousand, right? Now last question. If the difference between the simple and compound interest on some principal amount at twenty percentage for three years is rupees forty eight, then the principal amount is das. So here it is given three years. For three years, the trick won't work where you have to use only the traditional method. So the simple interest at twenty percentage for three years. For one year, if it is twenty percentage, for three years, twenty into three, sixty percentage. So in simple interest, twenty percentage into three, it gives you sixty percentage, right? But in compound interest, you have to find manually. First year, twenty percentage. Second year, twenty plus twenty plus twenty into twenty by Hundred. So this gives you forty-four percentage total interest at the end of two years. But you have to find for how many years? Three years. For three years, what you have to do? You have to pay the previous year forty-four percentage as well as third year you will get a twenty percentage as well as for this forty-four percentage you have to pay forty-four into twenty by hundred. <clears throat> so you have to pay sixty-four plus eight point eight percentage. So which is seventy-two point. Eight percentage. 
So in simple interest, you have to pay only 60%. In compound interest, you have to pay 72.8%. So the difference is how much? 12.8%. So 12.8% is how much here? It's 48 rupees. So 12.8 is 48 rupees. You have to find 100%, right? So 100% equal to X. So X equal to 48. So instead of writing 48, so we can multiply by 10. So right left hand side 10 and right hand side 10, right? So right hand 10 and left hand 10. So 480 by 128 into 100. So by solving this, you will get 375. So you borrowed 375 from the bank at 20% rate of interest. And the difference between simple and compound interest for 3 years, you got how much? Rupees 48. So here the principal amount is 375 rupees. I hope you are understanding the concept clearly, right? Okay. So if you understood this concept properly, click like button and subscribe my channel. And share this video to your friends. If you hold any doubt, please pause it on the commentary section. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.